Okay, folks. I'm going to show you some preventive maintenance that uh, some folks have a lot of trouble with. But uh, I want to show you a way to fix that. But you need to do this early before you uh, have the problem. I'm talking about these two pinch molds right here that hold the axle nut in place. It's drilled through the bottom. There's a split right there. And then the back side is drilled open. And that's where the elements get exposed to this screw and it will um, jam it up in place. There's, there's also a problem with this bolt is steel and this is aluminum. So you got dissimilar metals. So what I'm gonna do is take one side out at a time and use my anti-seize. And I'm gonna take a small screwdriver and come in and coat that back side and then re, uh, tighten these back down. There's, you're supposed to torque them and I'll figure that, figure out what my torque is, but whatever your torque is, you should go by it. So anyhow, let me get started. Okay, just a little bit more advice. Uh, I coated them. I did notice that um, at one time they had uh, thread locker on there and that's something that could be uh, used really good too it keeps out the uh, elements and keeps these two uh, dissimilar metals dissimilar metals don't like each other like this is steel and that's aluminum so that was another technique was to use the thread seal thread lock so let me uh, put them back and get this screwed in and then torqued in and go to the other side okay i got the other side out and look at all that rust on them so what i'm doing is preventive maintenance that way i can have the ability to not strip these threads out and to be able to change my tire change my my brakes and stuff like that so I've got to clean these threads real good and uh, I'm going to coat it with the anti-seize and put them back in and torque them in good. But you see uh, there was at the end you could see where the thread sealant was and then there's nothing up here. So I'm going to coat all the threads and that way it works out really good. Now this is on a Kawasaki Concourse and that size is a... What size is that? Six. Six Allen. So, let me get to cleaning them and get them prepped and get ready. Okay, look at these now. I took them to the uh, wire wheel on the bench grinder and cleaned all that crap off them. And I'm going to coat them with the anti seize. Put them back in there and torque them down. Now some of you guys are going to be freaking out seeing anti-seize. It was, you know, as a grease used in the wheel area. Well, they use anti-seize on head studs and stuff like that. What holds screws in is, is the, uh, the torque that's putting them down. You know, it's an interference fit. So... The grease is going to keep the rust from hap from happening, and that's the main concern in this area that sees a lot of road. Uh, is going to see water and grime and stuff like that. So I am confident using the anti seize in this area because these bolts in this pinch bolt area will take the threads out of these. There's a lot of guys that have problems with these. This is my preventive measure to keep me from having to drill and tap or to do other tricks to try to make this thing better. So I'm going to put a, let me put it together and I'll do one last video. Okay. As you can see, uh, the Loctite likes to stain your hands. I coated the hole. Um, 
all the threads and and the shank because I, I don't want it rusting up and this is to protect two different metals aluminum and the steel and you get to similar corrosion and that causes these threads to lock up and there's many guys that have gone to take these out and they'll take the aluminum threads right out with it so I'm going to screw that together torque it down this is all preventive medicine if you prefer the uh, the Loctite or the Loctite thread locker by all means do that that will keep out the oxygen and stop that corrosion but this is all preventive medicine to make this bike easier to work on and for me to have a bike that I can you know have for a long time and have easy maintenance on so you guys have a good one We'll see you on my next ride and see you on my next video.